hello welcome back to the channel today we are back in phoenix this time for pleasure not really for work and we are staying at the phoenix marriott at the buttes we'll spell that out for you so you can actually see and this resort is like tucked away off the road um, and i'm really excited to kind of show you guys around so let's go door there's not a whole lot of space to kind of hang out in to the right is going to be our bathroom so we're going to kind of we're going to tuck in there it is a little it's a little tight this is an older resort it has been kind of revamped a little bit but it is an older resort so keep that in mind so coming in here this is where we have our vanity uh where you're going to put any kind of storage you have towels are down there it's a pretty big uh, vanity, but I kind of wish it was like double seat. I love the double seat vanities, but overall, it's not bad. And then, kind of back tucked in here, we got a little pull out sliding door if you want more privacy. But there is a shower, it's not the biggest shower I've ever seen, but I'd much rather have a shower than a tub, uh, especially when you're in such tight quarters because a lot of times, like the space between the toilet and the tub is a lot tighter. So this isn't bad. The only thing I will say about the top being back here with the toilet is if somebody needs to go to the bathroom while you're in the shower, you can't really do that. Whereas most hotels will just tuck the toilet away by itself and then have the tub splash shower somewhere else. So that's just a little bit of a design flaw, but it's not the end of the world. We've got a full size mirror. Just a little bit of a darker bathroom, but there is a light inside the actual shower, so that's a plus. And then right over here is the storage closet. So that is where you're gonna find the iron, ironing board, your safe, your luggage rack, and extra hangers. And then a little bit more storage up here if you brought some extra stuff. All right, now let's go check out the main living quarters. All right, so now that we toured this half, let's take a look at this this other half. So this is the bigger space of the two, I would definitely say. We have a king size bed. Over here there are two nightstands on either side of the bed. It does look like that the lamps have a plug, not a USB, but an actual plug. And there is a plug on the wall over here. So they do have drawers if you're the type of person who's going to unpack in a hotel. I typically am not, but there is definitely um, something on the bed. That's gross. Don't know what that was. The bed feels not too shabby. I will say right off the bat, I love the fact that there are king size pillows for my king size bed. Cause that is a huge qualm for me when we stay in hotels. It does have the little like micro lights what I like to call them and there's one on either side same thing with the lamps the alarm clock is on this side and the phone is going to be on that side and then as we back up just a little bit we do have a tv it probably is like a 47 inch or it's not huge um we do have more drawer space and then there is a refrigerator down in here not a mini fridge, but a fridge nonetheless. So if you've got anything that needs to be kept chilled, that's where you're gonna keep it. And again, some more storage down in here. And as we continue to the rest of the room, we have a little bit of a workstation here, which is really nice. We have some more storage. Got a coffee maker with all of the fixings. And again, what Gary loves to call the cup chair in the corner uh, with the ice bucket and the two cups and we have another lamp in that corner now I will say this room's probably gonna be pretty dark at night um, especially with the beige walls and the darker 
that's the thing when you do darker furnishings in a room it definitely dark carpet dark walls it's gonna make the room feel a lot darker at night and also you can tell it's really dated because of the popcorn ceiling but overall it seems nice it seems clean which is always important other than that little spot thing I found on the bed who knows what that was but overall I will say the room feels clean now to the best part of the room the view okay so this is our view we did ask for an upgrade so we do have a resort view and more specifically we have a pool view and that is the pool yeah it's got like a little lazy river to it too and i have to say the landscape around here is really nice it's kind of cool that it's like tucked back into the hills uh it is hot out there we still might go out there and go get a drink maybe not really sure but we were just really ecstatic that our room was ready early so i'm glad i put the request in last night when i texted the front desk so now we're going to go take a look around the rest of the hotel so stick around If you're interested in room service, click on that code. Alright, we're heading into the Buttes. This is where we're staying. Oh gosh. There's a baseball stadium right next to it. I don't know what that's for. I'm guessing Arizona State. Well, here we go. Let's drive up. It is supposed to be tucked into the mountains, so. Yeah, check out that mountain. That's cool. Hopefully our room will be ready. It's uh, only 12.30. And it's 114 degrees wise. The parking lot. That is for the actual video. Oh, it's definitely older. Oh, look at it. It's wrapped in the mountains. Fancy. That's fancy. That's fancy. Oh, I gotta help that little, little guy out. Right. We're heading on into the buttes. As I call the water. It's kind of interesting because it wraps around and there's like an entrance here. So there's like an entrance that you have to get into once you get off the elevators. And there's the big pool area. Another nice shot of that. Super cool out there. Alright, so here's some of the pool dynamics. They're apparently doing small renovations too. Alright. Nice out there. There's the restaurant that's like top of the something mountain. Pretty interesting. It's kind of fascinating how this whole thing is like built into a mountain. So I definitely like the aesthetic. Little old school rooms, but definitely like the aesthetic. And here's the other pool from the kind of lobby area upstairs. So that's the other pool you can go to. A lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. Restaurant that we talked it's about. It's a little hot. But... Whew, yes. It's a bit of a jerky. Yes, this elevator is definitely old. I know your flow. Here's the downstairs area. When you come in, that's where you come in out of your car. There are the elevators and everything. And the spa is that way. If you're interested in doing the spa. Got some killer cacti out here. But there's the highway in the distance. See, there's Nacy. And then there's the hotel exterior. It's kind of nice. It's really so fascinating. It's in the... What'd you say? Originally we had a freeway facing room. Yeah. We got to change. That's apparently an upgrade, y'all. Who knew? The walkway. So that's how you get to the tavern and stuff if you're on this side of all the rooms. Interesting design, yeah. I was like, uh, where do I want to stay? I was like, do I want a place that seems like it's going to have an interesting view? This place definitely doesn't look like that. Yeah. So check out, these are the, this is the one side over here. Got that big old pole down there. 
and some outside eating, which I'm not sure I would do in this weather, but it's still cool. It's cooler out. And then here's the other side. Really cool. And then they have spots on the edges too. And there's a water slide that goes I don't know where. One of Nacy's favorite killer cacti, the prickly pear with the fruits. And then yep. those are the agave. Yep. How do we know this? We went to the <laughs> botanical gardens here. <laughs> Check out that video. Botanical gardens. Although it says the pool's open till 10 p.m. Huh, we might check it out after a yeah. little bit of dark time. Really it's gotta be under 100 cool. degrees, or at least close. Check out this mural, y'all. This is right by the uh, walkway. There's another one on this side, too. Wow, really cool murals. Hotel's neat. So here's the market calf. It's open till 10.30 from 6.30. So this is where you get muffins and stuff. The lobby, yeah, we were at earlier. It's really nice. I like the city guy. Check out the waterfall in the lobby. This is the lobby, y'all. It's a restaurant downstairs. And it kind of goes up there to a bar. And then you got the lobby area. Alright, we're going into the gift shop. do some live music here too so if you're here make sure to check out the lobby and see who's live and the uh, elevators are super bouncy check these out in the walkway there's some pickaxes and shovels a water canteen fascinating and it is hot yeah i think so we found a lizard friend y'all he's way bigger than the ones i used to catch on my back patio he kind of looks like the lizard from the vegas airport Hello, friend. We have made it to the workout room. So I got some weights, some mats, bench. I got a few machines. I got this one here. I got the next. I got a recumbent bike, an elliptical, another treadmill. I got this machine. I've seen at a few hotels recently. And then they have four treadmills right out the window. And like Macy said, I'm not sure if you could hear her. She said that you could watch the planes landing, but you can, it'd be right over there. It's pretty cool. I like the view out. Right, got some TVs. And then we got two machines, kind of machine looking things over here. It's just like a bench, looks like. And then, what's this thing? I don't have a machine. a really, really cheap water machine. What do you think of the gym? It's okay. I've seen better, but I've also seen way worse. Yeah, so for a resort though. Mm, probably on the lower side. It could be newer, it could be cooler in here. Yeah, check out our Tempe video on that upper right hand corner right, right there. Uh, that was a really nice gym. This is nice, it's just not great. If you're wondering, here's the helipad. They're doing some road construction, which is the noise you're hearing, but uh, there's the helipad. That's kind of cool. You can go to the helipad and Nacy's adding this extra light so we can see the ground, but there's the uh, complex up there. And the helipad is down this way. Check out the weird cloud formation up there. That's kind of cool too. It's so hot out here. Yeah, we're gonna head back in. Oh, you can see the gym too, that uh, right there. That second story right there is the gym. Here is a map of the Buttes Resort Marriott. Conference center, business center, market cafe. There's the spa area. Volleyball courts, interesting. I didn't know they had those. Check all that. Ooh, there's a heliport, nice. So that concludes our stay here at the Butte Marriott. Yeah, it was interesting. It's definitely a unique 
kind of resort. It's tucked back away into this like cliffside. It is older, so keep that in mind. Um, like you're not gonna get like like a brand new refurbed room or anything like that, or even maybe air conditioning. That's kind of subpar. A legit tip too, if you're here on the weekends and you get a pool view, they will be blasting music at 9 a.m. all day long. Uh, so if you plan on just relaxing in your room when you get here, especially on the weekends, that's not really an option. They turned it into like a party out there, which good for the people out there, but if you're trying to rest or maybe you've got like a little one that needs a nap, you might run into some issues. So yeah, so you might run into some issues with that pool party going on. Uh, another legit tip is the food's okay. It's a little bit better than most hotels, but it's not that great. So it's not that long of a drive to get some like quick service and stuff around here. There's a Whataburger, some other fast food restaurants, so not too bad. But the food here, eh, it's okay. I will say the best thing that we did have was the chicken quesadilla yes. and the orange smash. Those were my two favorite things that we had here. Yeah, the chicken quesadilla was really good. Uh, good water pressure, the bed's comfortable, the room does not get cold, uh, but in its defense it has been over 115 degrees every day here, so it might be better in the winter. And I think too, a legit tip too, try to visit here in the winter time, or the colder time, so you can actually use all the amenities, the pool and stuff. It's really hard to use a pool when it's like soaking hot concrete surrounding it. Yeah, it, that part definitely put a damper on us going to the pool, but overall uh, I would come back here again I think. Yeah, great. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth. Bye. Bye.